My name is Ron Ward. I'm in long-term recovery from sexual abuse, depression, attempted suicide, and IV meth addiction. On February 22nd, 2010, all it took was one shot of heroin to get me on the path of recovery. I was on my way home at 3.30 in the morning, calling my wife to tell her that I wasn't gonna make it home. I basically told her I was sorry for everything I had done due to my addiction. I told her to tell my kids I wasn't gonna make it home. I started losing my vision, lost the phone, lost connection with my wife, and pulled over the next exit on the off of the highway, went into a gas station, got me a Three Musketeer and a Gatorade, and as I approached the cashier, she looked at me like, oh my God, do you need a squad? And I was like, yes. And as soon as I said yes, I passed out. Woke up to the EMT, paranoid, thinking everybody's gonna find out that I'm an addict. And I refused to go to the hospital. I remember getting in my car that morning, grabbing a hold of the steering wheel as tight as I could, screaming at the top of my lungs that I can't do this anymore. And it was at that very moment that I surrendered. And I broke the silence. I didn't care who knew. I started telling everybody that I was broken and I was struggling with addiction. And that's the very thing that got me on the path of recovery. That same year in September, 2010, I went into uh, a hospital, met myself into a behavioral health unit due to suicide, suicidal thoughts. And I was in the hospital for two weeks, diagnosed with HIV and hepatitis C. Came out of the hospital, did a 30-day program. Got out of the 30-day program, relapsed two weeks after. And discovered that I did not only have HIV, but I had AIDS. That was the struggle for my recovery. Yet I got an intensive outpatient and brushed my illness under the rug, so to speak, and focused on my recovery. I graduated my intensive outpatient program and was doing really well. I had nearly three years of sobriety by 2013. Yet in 2013, I, I was told by my HIV specialist that my medications were no longer working. And I heard this voice in my head telling me that my kids were gonna watch me die, my wife and my family. And I felt like I'd done enough damage through my own addiction that I didn't wanna put my family through anything more. I didn't want to have them struggle or, or bring any more problems to them. I didn't wanna make them suffer, bottom line. So I, on April 23rd, 2013, I overdosed on a bottle of antidepressants, which left me in a coma for 13 days. Died on the table three times, was brought back, still in a coma. I eventually did miraculously come out of the coma and uh, was discharged from the hospital on May 14th, 2013. Do not be ashamed because of your hurts, habits, and hangups. We can rise above it. And the greatest thing that I learned on my path of recovery is that I cannot fight this fight alone. We all need each other. Thank you so much for letting me share.